19 for a Cure is sponsored by TriHealth. Well, today is 19 for a Cure, and Fox 19 now is committed to a cure in the importance of women's health preventative, uh, preventative rather screenings. We spoke to a local doctor about how regular screenings can help women live healthier lives. Take a listen. Well, I think preventative health care is extremely important. It gives us the opportunity to identify any problems or concerns that maybe the woman hasn't really thought of yet, something that we can use to um, help guide treatment options a little quicker. And also there's a lot of um, what I call anticipatory guidance at these visits. So just letting her know what to expect in that phase of her life. Maybe it's the family planning years or really especially the menopausal years. I just want to help them um, understand what might come. But that has to come with conversation. Absolutely. And speak to that and having that dialogue with your patient and with your dog. Well, the, that visit, that women's health preventative visit, is, is it's an exam, of course, first and foremost. Um, but it's really that opportunity for her to ask questions and um, bring up any concern that she might have. Um, we talk about the menstrual history, the family history, her medical history, um, and use those factors to guide our next decision making. With that said, family history is very important. Mm -hmm. Talk about the importance of really trying to do some research for yourself and then bring that to you when you do have these visits and exams. Yeah, it's really important for us to update the family history each year. Um, some people don't really think about that in their, their initial presentation. They're here for another reason. Um, but using that family history helps us to, again, kind of guide the next decision making. So as far as these screening and preventative things like the pap smears, the, the mammogram, colon cancer screening, we use that to help decide when's the right time for this woman to begin that journey. With that said, how early is too early? Well, it depends. Um, so, for instance, cervical cancer screening has a pretty specific time frame. We start the pap smear test at age 21. Um, and then that's repeated at certain intervals depending on result and her age. Um, something like the mammogram is a little bit confusing. Different organizations out there actually have different recommendations. So we try to, again, use that personal and family history to, to, to decide which specific age is the right, for, um, right age for that woman. What would you say to women out there who are nervous or scared about approaching this? That's a great question. I think women oftentimes don't put themselves first and they're busy with a lot of other life stressors, whether it be work, family, caregiving to other people in their life. There's a lot that um, is on her plate, so to say. So I really want them to prioritize their health as well. And just keep in mind that this is a safe space. This is a closed door safe space and they can talk to us about anything. Anything that you would like to say about the preventative health and how it translates to saving lives because it really does. It absolutely does. We know from evidence and experience that early detection gives us the best treatment outcomes. So that's really the whole point of having these things done at a routine schedule when it's recommended is to find disease early. Some good information.